Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brent Justice and welcome back to my gaming channel Justice Gaming. I am in fear again, ready to get scared. I've got the lights turned down, it's dark, and I'm ready to be frightened. I hope you all are as well. I'm looking forward to this. Hope you all are having a blessed day today. I've got a hot coffee in front of me. Let me know what you are drinking down below. So in our last video of fear, we basically had to escort Alice Wade through the office buildings. She escaped to Auburn District, which we are now in. That's where we ended up and kind of worked our way through, I guess, an apartment building. And now we're outside on the grounds in the alleyway of that apartment building that we just came out of. Ready to continue in Auburn District. That's where we are. So let's read... Our mission, Situation, Fear Point Man successfully eliminated replica forces attempting to secure helicopter crash site and is now en route to abandoned Remelier Industrial Compound. Alice Wade is believed to have been captured by Paxton Fettel. That's right, Paxton got her. Her welfare is unknown. She is not responding to comlinks. Priority is to secure Alice and Harlan Wade, which is her father, so Harlan Wade and Alice, and just eliminate enemy patrols. So we are on our way to literally, I think, the vault, right? The uh, Project Origin place. And we just got to take out enemies. Now, I will say that it has been about a week since my last recording here. I had to take a little bit of a break. And so uh, hopefully I will be able to get back into this. I'm just seeing what weapons I have here and making sure I reload everything. That should be good. And I have no grenades. I have nine health packs, so that's where we are. 155 health and only 17 armor. But I'm ready to be scared. I'm picking up major enemy movement on the satellite. They're all over that area. Watch your back. But since we're outside, I don't know, maybe not too much. Um anyway. Let's see what happens. I guess we're going to encounter enemy forces at some point. Can I go through here? No. Okay, I take that back. There is going to be creepy stuff. Hi. Look at Alma. That actually scared me. Yeah, little girl uh, laughter, laughing thing. No, I don't want that. No, 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 I don't want any of that. Maybe I take it back since the uh, facility is under this district. Maybe it is going to be a little more cre- Oh crap, there's guys like standing right there. Maybe this place will be a little more creepy since uh, this is where the vault's at, right? So maybe it's Dash. How did he see me? I don't understand that. I wish I had a, I wish I had a grenade right now. Ha! Huh. You can't shoot me, you can't shoot me, you can't shoot me. You can't get around stairs, apparently. I can't see anybody. To wait for the smoke to clear. There we go. I think more are coming. Boy, I could use a grenade right now. Can't check in. Squad is gone. Okay, I'm losing a lot of ammo here. Bye-bye. 
Okay, now I need all their ammo because that used a lot. Let's see, was this a different weapon? Uh, this is a submachine gun. I don't do that. Ooh, a health. I don't need it, but I got it. Ooh, an armor. Looks like that's where we're going over there. So is there anything over here? The answer is no. We're going into a building. Now we're here, wherever here is. Boy, I wish I could pick that hammer up. Just smash him with a hammer. No, wait, that's another game. Totally different game, and also not a crowbar. Well, that's not what I wanted. truck came out of nowhere. I hear more of them. Oh, they're out there, huh? Oh, we got a big dude, huh? We got a big dude. Okay, how am I gonna do this? I also can't see anything. I got that guy. I could barely see him, but I got him. Now, there's a lot more out here, so... Let's play this sort of smart. Use this door as cover. Alright, we've got a big dude here, but I've got weapons that can destroy him. I'm just trying to get rid of his, uh... The fodder that's all around him. All the other guys. All right, now that I got the other guys out of the way, I should be able to bop them with one of these. Okay, my health. My poor health. That wasn't a smart idea to zoom because I was totally lost. Those rockets do so much. Man. Uh, okay, I got him. Those rockets do so much damage. I used so much so much ammo on that weapon. Oh good, there's some armor here. More armor, yes. Let's reload everything. Good. I still don't have grenades though. Was there really no grenades back in this room? I just want to double check. Usually they leave grenades somewhere. Oh, there are no grenades. Well, okay. No grenades. Oh, there's some grenades. I didn't... I don't want that. A little late to the game, but I got him eventually. Okay, that's a rocket launcher. I just don't want to give up on my other weapons. They're actually pretty good. I 
I like what I have. I'm gonna use a health and get a new health. Now I'm full on everything. Looks like we're going this way. Looks like we're not going this way. Oh, jump over. Ha! It's pulling up. Hold on. Ah, I'm lost in a box. I'm looking for cover. Oh, are they not coming in? Are they coming in? Are they not? Oh, they're. How did they get up there? Well, I'm gonna hide because I wanted to talk about that. That scene right there. I want to talk about that because, uh,. I remember that scene. That's how I knew to, like, uh, f go in there instead of getting hit by the car. Uh, I remember that scene, but I want to talk about that. Okay, yeah, here they are. Uh, no, you. You die. Just try it. Just try it. What did I say? So, um, in my... F when I played this... Oh, there's a guy right there! Look at that! I guess they can come around here, huh? <laughs> Bye. In my first playthrough of this game, uh, I do remember that scene because I remember when I first played this game a long, long, long time ago, I got killed by that vehicle <laughs> because I didn't know to jump down in there and I kept walking forward thinking if I walked forward fast enough, I could, you know, get around the car or, or whatever or miss it. So I kept walking and I, and I got killed. That's kind of an iconic scene and in other playthroughs also I've seen in the game, I've seen people get taken out by that. So I remember that scene, an iconic scene anyway to me. And so I knew to jump in here. So yeah, anyway, I knew that that would be coming in the game. I didn't remember where exactly or what part of the game that would be coming in. Oh man. Dude, there's a lot of them. Okay. <laughs> that happened. Boy, I piled up the bodies, huh? Man, they really threw a lot at you right there. Is it me or are they like piling on more and more, more and more on you? Just throwing more enemies at you. No, I think... They're in this area, too. They're in all areas. Okay. Big area. I can see that there would be a lot of people here, probably. I can go down there, or I can go up here. Is there a reason to go down here? Good question. I don't think so. Okay, we're back in dark, creepy places.
Oh, we're back out here again. Okay, what now? It's one of these again. Oh, maybe this was the scene. Oh, this was the one with the fire. So that scene I was talking to you about where the vehicle comes at you and you have to avoid it, it's this one. It wasn't the previous one. So there's two of them. I didn't realize there was two of those scenes. This was the one that was iconic where the vehicle is like flaming and it's on fire and it's coming at you and you have to back up and move over to get out of the way or you die. I definitely died when I played this the first time. Okay, so that was the scene I was thinking about. This is a big open area. Usually in big open areas, something happens. But it's so quiet. Ooh, grenades. I've got four grenades. Nice. I hear a helicopter. Sorry, taking a sip of my coffee. It's so dark in these corners. Oh good, I'm going in the sewers. Just what I wanted. If, if they didn't have to make it creepy enough, they put us in these tunnels. The commander has entered the vault. So the commander is uh, going toward the vault. Uh, we got these guys here. I'm gonna shoot him in the leg. He's going to die by death by leg. Oh, there's more. That kathunk he made was satisfying. Okay, I guess I can't go up there. Do I need to get through here? Uh, that's in the way. How do I get up here? Do I have to climb up here? I see a reflex booster up there. Let's grab that, absolutely. Grab all this stuff. Oh, dude, where'd he come from? <laughs> right down to the ground. Okay, there's more up there. There are more. Did I get him? I don't think so. All right, 
right, I do see this ladder. I have no cover. So... I'm using my bullet time. Well, I had a little bit of cover. Bullet time comes in handy. I want that over there. Now that's interesting that I can go down here, but also I can go up here, so to where do I go? Let's see what's up here first. Get all their stuff anyway. Oh, that's it. This is as far as I can go up here. All right. So I guess we have to go down below. Is that gonna kill me if I drop down there? It's pretty far. No, okay. Guess not. What's this way? Oh, look at that. I'm up here on this level. There's stairs. Is this the way I'm supposed to go or is this, I, I actually don't know. Let's, let me go down this ramp and see what's down here. Give this a little peek. Oh, it just leads down to here. Okay. okay. Oh, and this just leads right back up to there. Well, that's redundant. I see shadows. I see dead people. Okay, one of them. One of them. Actually takes quite a few shots though. Interestingly. Even with that uber weapon, still takes quite a few shots to bring those guys down. believe that didn't kill him the first time. Guess I have grenades. I need to use them. I got five grenades now. What the heck? Another one? Bop! Did I miss him with the grenade? Probably. I can't see through the smoke. Did I hit him? I think I, I'm hitting him. <laughs> Bye. Hey, I got ammo. Oh, 
Ah, uh, I want that health. I can't get the health. How do I, how do I get in this room? I can't get in this room. There's a health sitting there, but they don't let me in the room. That's mean. That's just not nice. Grenade? Where? I don't even see anybody. Uh -oh, is he on the other side? I didn't even see him. And how- did he blow himself up? Oh. Dang. Things are blowing up all over the place here. Whoa! Alright. Stair full of bad guys. Oh, well, maybe I can get into this room. I was about to say, how do you put a health in a room but not able to access it? Okay, they're leaving me rocket launchers, and you know when they leave you rocket launchers, they're trying to give you a clue. I don't take clues very well, though, and I really do like all the weapons I have. That's... I mean, maybe I'm going to need this thing. It's very possible I will. But I like what I have because this thing is... This has a lot of ammo on it, and it does a lot of damage. This does a lot of damage, and I... I mean, I got good ammo on it. It's full. I don't know. I want to keep it. I want to keep what I have. The rocket launcher is fun, but once you ran run out of ammunition, you're you're stuck. <laughs> you don't you don't have a third weapon anymore. And I want a third weapon. Oh, look at her She's looking around now. the corner. Oh, that's him, Paxton. Paxton is strong here. Paxton Fettel. Okay, we got... How did they see... Oh, they saw me. Report dead. Whoa! You're shotgunning me, huh? Come on out. What are you doing with that grenade? Where'd he go? Inside? Okay. Okay, they have a lot of weapons in here, and it looks like a weapon storeroom. Wow. Okay, I assume that this opens and I go in there, or something happens with that. Also, I've just noticed I'm low on health. Dark corners. Offline. Blow up. 
Is that a warning? I got all the healths I can get. It's too quiet. It's too quiet, so there's going to be a big battle soon, probably. It's a big empty room. Really big empty room. And that leads to death. That's what I thought. Oh, these guys. I was wondering when the invin invisible ninjas would show back up. I was really wondering. Now, somebody did leave me a comment, thank you so much, in the uh, comments, and let me know when the invisible guys show up, uh, using your bullet time can um, help you take them out easier because they move around so fast, and also they're invisible. So I'm going to remember that. I will use my uh, my special powers powers that I have here. Come at me, bro. I just want him to get a little closer to me. Definitely a lot easier. Uh, using that ability. like that. Thank you so much for that comment, by the way. Uh, that greatly, greatly has helped. So I do appreciate all the feedback, all the comments. I read every one of them. And uh, that is so useful. That is very useful. Okay, that's probably why they wanted you to have the rocket launcher. I wonder if I could take him out from up here instead of having to deal with him on the ground. Could I try to do that? Yes, in fact I can. And so, yeah, I don't need a rocket launcher to even deal with those guys. This weapon works. This works, absolutely. Yeah, I'm happy with that result. Dark room. Another 
dark room for no reason. Goes round in there. I guess that's just where this goes. Armor. All right, do I need to go outside? Yes, so I'm glad I took him out then. That was a good call. These guys had no chance. Now there might be another one though, I don't know. Yep, hold on, let's see. I hear it, I hear it, I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. He's like right there, like literally right there. My grenades are completely missing. Dang it, I missed. I don't know if I hit him. I don't know if I hit him with that grenade, but I definitely tried. Okay, I got him. And I still have pretty good ammo on that thing. But I did use all my grenades. Is that a piece of them? I think so. Just want to get all their ammo. These are just... These are not the heavily armored guys. A secret button? Armory. Okay, an armory. I'll take it. And armor. Some kind of warehouse. I see a hole. No, that's a bucket. I thought that was a hole in the ground. That is a trash can. That's what I just killed. So I guess that our helicopter crash people are safe now. They got rescued. It's a dark room over here. 
here I have to check out. Ah. Yes, I will take that. Health increased. Oh, it looks like we're going in an elevator. Oh, I'm falling down an elevator. Into blood. It's a blood room. Good, I've always wanted one of these. Oh, crap, that kind of scared me. Oh, we're going through a hole. Oh, good, Alma's here too. Oh, hi. Oh, we're back here again. Uh. I don't know what it is or why I want it. Okay, well. That was the blood elevator from hell. I don't want one of those. I want you out of there as soon as you got Wade and the girl. Get them back to base so I can debrief them in person. Good luck in there. Mm-hmm. All right, Interval 09, Incursion. Replica elite soldiers and Armacam security forces have already entered the facility. ATC's motives are unknown, but their intentions are clearly hostile. Pax and Fettel is believed to be inside as well. Alice Wade has not been recovered. Mission, primary, primary objectives are to secure Harlan and Alice Wade and to eliminate Pax and Fettel. Fearpoint men should also attempt to gather intelligence on the facility and Armacam security's objectives at the site. So I think we are now going into the Project Origin. We're going into that, what was the Remelier site previous. So this is like it, underground. Oh, there's a turret. Good. Locate Harlan Wade. Basically the guy who's behind all of this. He's a really bad guy, actually. Also, oh, the stupid turret. I don't like it. Turret was on me. Would not let up. Had to use so much ammo. Look at all these explodey things here. Yeah, Harlan Wade. So he's the main, like, he's he's a bad dude. What he did to Alma, terrible. I mean, we'll learn about that, or maybe we have learned some about that already, but. Bad dude. And, yeah, so we gotta find him, and then we gotta find... Oh, there's another freaking turret. Also, we need to see if Allison is still alive, right? Oh, the turret, right there. Time to get my Adam Jensen on and go through the vents. that was breakable. No, it's just grenade grenade things. Okay, so this was just a secret. This wasn't a secret passage. Oh, 
Come on, turret. Would you blow up already? I'm supposed to get in there. Uh, well, maybe I do have to go that way then. Oh, take that back. There's a ladder. We're under here now. And now we're on the other side. Well, that was... What is the point? Seriously, what is the point of this secure door if you can just climb down under and go under and up? That is the least secure door I've ever seen in my life. There is no point to it. This way. I don't have grenades. Get That's to cover. a shame. Dude just got his head blown help. off. You think he's okay? Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, you're lying there dead. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. Oh, am I out of ammunition? Poo poo. Am. He's over here. Oh, look, it's that okay. dude. I think I blew him to bits. And there's part of the bits. He's here. Okay, he's obviously trying to erase data or do something there, sabotage us. him to the wall. I see this up here too, I just noticed. Kind of want to know where that goes. How do I even get up there? Guess I don't. This way. Whoa, what, what from where, who, how? Who's shooting me? I don't... Where are they at? Oh, right there? Seriously? 
that one guy hiding in the corner. He had a good hiding spot, by the way. So that is a big clue to the storyline right there. And that was kind of that piece of information I was waiting for, which I already knew, but now we have confirmation of it in the game proper. That, I mean, let's, we, just, we know at this point it's Alma, but she was, she, she was psychic and tortured and gave birth to uh, two people, prototype one and two, and uh, her DNA was also combined with somebody else who we'll, we'll find out was basically, I think we might have already found out, was Harlan Wade, her father. But that's a big clue to the storyline there. That, that really tells you, um, that tells you a whole lot, tells you everything really. So big storyline lore stuff right there. Oh, I guess this is how I get up here. Ah, guess I have to crawl along here, huh? Oh, we're going into the back area. This back area is weird. Also very dark, but I like it. But now where? I cannot see anything. Interesting way to get in here. This is where uh, Mapes was. Norton, the there he is. You can get rid of the evidence by shredding documents and wiping hard drives. Genevieve Aristide dug her own grave and she's going to have to make herself comfortable in it. But don't be a fucking lap dog and jump in after her. So Genevieve, I believe, is the commander or is she the president of... Uh, Project Origin, one of those things, or Armacam, I mean, CEO. She's one of those people. And she was going into the vault, they said earlier. <laughs> well, he had no chance. Uh, I'm oh hello throwing grenades at me I'm at the. I was just trying to realize where I'm at I'm at the top part of where I came in on this room this is the top part of it I see that now I hear noises that I don't like. Noises that are scaring me. Oh, it's one of them things, huh? Hi. Uh, guess I just have to shoot it. What if I use this weapon to shoot it instead of the other one? Is it better? Maybe a little bit. At least I don't use the other ammo. Up. Up. 
Armor. Ooh. A repeating cannon. Do I or do I not, though? I just hate giving up the weapons that are really working for me, you know? And I have full ammunition, and I just feel, once again, if I grab this, once I run out of ammo on it, it's over. It's done. And I don't have a third weapon anymore. It's gonna blow! Well, that was unfortunate. It's still hitting me. actually got me pretty good. He's here. I'm not here. Are you okay? Huh. Are you are you okay while he's getting shot? No, don't go check it out. Got it. You ain't got nobody. Everybody take cover. Every everybody take cover. Everybody dead. He's on Still there? Get us some backup. That guy. Bye. Let's get all these guys stuff. Okay, there's a lot of people back there. So, uh, before I go there though, let's see what's this way. These windows here, but was there a door here? Oh, there was not even a door here. I thought there was a door here. Nope, no door. We've got about an hour, we've got an hour in this video, so I'm coming up on my stopping point here. Whoa, hello. Lots of people. She use a health and get a health. I like this area though, it's a really cool area. Yeah, this is a really unique and cool area to explore. He's really? Get to cover. Stay on my toes, but I'm on my butt. Whoa. Mm, bye. Grenade! 
All right, that didn't get him, really? Also, I cannot see. Everybody take cover. You all right? <laughs> Are you all right? Ra! Oh, well, they're running away. They're so not all right that they're running away. Well, okay. Secure that action. Oh, they're trapping me in. That's actually kind of smart to trap me in. Let's see what this computer has. I figured out what a synchronicity event is. There was an incident where they lost control of but he just suddenly started freaking out. He was only about 10 years old at the time, but I guess he killed a few people. In the investigation, they discovered that there had been a telepathic link between Fettel and Alma, even though she was in a coma. Right. They concluded that she was influencing him. That must have been why they pulled the plug on Origin. I think this is going to be my stopping point because it looks like we're probably going to be heading down a tunnel and they've trapped us in and it looks like we're maybe heading to a new section here and I'm not sure, I don't know. But this is a good stopping point since it's been an hour so let's talk a little bit about what we've done today. Um, basically, excuse me, basically we made it through Auburn District, the whole outside area and we made it into this place which I always forget the, I can't say it right, Remelier, 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 that place starts with an R. <laughs> That's what it used to be called. It is now, I guess, just Project Origin. And uh, we're in that facility now. And we're headed down. I guess we're trying to find the vault, which I know what's there. But I guess at this point, we don't know necessarily. Um, but we have found some good lore and background story on this. And that is important. We know that Alma whose father is Harlan Wade and whose sister is Alice Wade, uh, was psychic. They wanted to control an army using a, like a cloned army or something with like psychic powers. But they thought it was better instead to have somebody not just use her DNA, like not just have her DNA, but to actually be born from her. And that person would then be more telepathically inclined to have more powers that way. So they got her pregnant. I don't know how they did that. <laughs> or I don't want to know. But uh, they, uh, yeah, they did that. I think they had, because she was a child, they had to, so I know this from the story. I don't know if it's been revealed yet. They had to induce her in a coma until she was old enough to be able to have a child. Yes, that's crazy. Um, but the story is pretty intense. And we'll talk about it at the end of the uh, game, obviously, when I get there. I will, I'll do a full review of it. But basically, point is, she gave birth to two prototypes. I know who the prototypes are. One of them is obviously Paxton. I know who the other one is. You can probably guess. Uh, two prototypes and, uh, yeah, pretty nasty stuff there. But uh, <laughs> that's... Uh, that's, that's kind of what we've learned today, which is pretty big for the game. Pretty big story that we're breaking into. And what interval are we in? I think we're in interval 9 now. So I think there's only a few more intervals left toward the end of the game. So we're getting closer and closer toward the end. We're at the, like, I guess the final area, maybe. Possibly? I don't know. Uh, but really interesting. A really good story, actually. Really, really, uh, really good game. Definitely creepy. This one, not as creepy as some others. There was a few things there where Alma would pop up or Paxton. We had the blood elevator, so that was fun. Uh, definitely uh, birthing pains. <laughs> you can tell from that. Uh, that uh, is a continuing scene that we keep seeing in fear. That scene of going to the delivery room. We see that a lot. We've been seeing that a lot. So that's a constant theme in the game. Having a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to continuing, but we'll do that in the next video. Uh, once again, thank you to everybody who is watching, and I hope you're having a great Fear-tober, everybody. 
Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.